Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, a senior ENT consultant practicing at Eshwanpur. I practice both at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital as well as at my clinic called Srinivas Speciality ENT Center. So any person who observes a clear watery like fluid coming out of his nose on only one side and always on the same side whenever he or she bends to say let us say eat food try to pick up something from the floor or um, they bend forwards for something and then they start, suddenly start noticing um, water dropping out of the nose then they should be very careful this can be a condition called as um, uh, CSF rhinorrhea. Now CSF is a fluid around the brain and the spinal cord. It is called cerebrospinal fluid. This is uh, like a buffer to the entire brain and spinal cord system. And uh, this fluid uh, is separated um, from the nose by a very thin layer of bone in the skull base, especially in the front part of the nose. For some reason, people in their um, mid-30s to mid-40s, especially ladies who are uh, on the obese side, tend to have a spontaneous, uh, that means a, without any provocation, leak from the nose. This area of the skull base is called cribriform plate. That means it has uh, small holes. It is like a C. Um, in Canada, it is called jardi. It's like a jardi. So there are already existing holes and when this becomes slightly bigger um, then the covering of the brain gets torn and then the fluid starts leaking out of the nose. So this is called idiopathic CSF leak. That means we don't know the reason why it happens but it generally happens in that age group of people predominantly in the women as compared to men. CSF leaks can also happen following nasal surgeries, skull base surgeries, it can also happen um, following uh, uh, brain surgeries. The second most common cause that I have encountered in my practice is, uh, which is uh, off late increasing, is following trauma, road traffic accidents. Uh, so people um, tend to have accidents uh, on their bikes, uh, they have a fall, injure their head, and then uh, the skull cracks, especially at the skull base, and then they have a CSF leak. Um, the no, uh, regular uh, way this heals is within 14 days uh, they tend to become all right with rest but uh, an occasional patient who is unfortunate can have a CSF leak uh, beyond that or it may present a few months after he, has, he or she has sustained an injury. Now this uh, can be life threatening mainly because uh, the water around the fluid the way it can come out into the nose the air in the nose can carry germs from the nose into the uh, cranium, that is into the brain. So, so causing meningitis, which uh, is infection of the covering of the brain. Now meningitis can at times be fatal and it can cause devastating um, uh, effects on the patient. Uh, the aggression from the doctors to close it. So it has to be repaired. Now this repair is usually uh, done endoscopically uh, using endoscopes through the nose so it's uh, literally a scarless surgery prior to doing the surgery uh, the evaluation would require the patient to undergo a ct scan as well as uh, an mri to find out from where it is leaking and to confirm that he or she is actually leaking the fluid 